actually recorded. Welcome to Nurse Outside the Box, Mara. Would you tell me a little bit more about, about who you are and, and how you actually really got started into nursing first and foremost and what changed? Can you tell us Okay. Sure. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so glad that I, that we got connected and that I'm able to come on here and, and uh, talk. And I love to speak with other nurses, speak with other people that are in the uh, healing and wellness profession. And really many years ago, you know, my husband reminded me this morning that 35 years ago, we graduated from college. So it was quite some time ago, but um, I was always interested in nursing or not in nursing. I was always interested in science. I loved chemistry um, just kind of loved, I was a bit of a science geek in high school. And so I uh, chose a college, a small liberal arts school that had a great science department. And so that's really how I started out in school. But as I was there, I was trying to figure out what that looked like for me then as a career. And I just wasn't sure at that point if I wanted to be a lab rat and, you know, doing research and things like that. And the school that I went to was just starting a nursing program. And so I started to learn about that. And I really fell in love with the idea of, you know, a healing profession to help other, <clears throat> help other people, um, to help other people on their medical, you know, medical journey. And one of the, um, one of the internships that I did was at a rehab, rehab hospital. And rehab meaning uh, people that had strokes, paraplegics, quadriplegics. And I really fell in love with that part of nursing. And so as I graduated and moved on to get a um, job, I did get a job at a, at a hospital in Chicago, uh, Rehab Institute of Chicago. And I worked in that, um, you know, in that rehab setting with patients, again, that were recovering from strokes. Um, Par again, paraplegics, quadriplegics, things that had happened that left them in a, you know, a different, different way of life. Yeah. And then you left, right? I'm curious about that. <laughs> well, I did. Yeah, I worked in there for a little bit. And then I was young and uh, wanted something a little different and uh, was a little bothered by some of the politics and whatnot, which, you know, I was a young, but I, I, I believe everything is divinely led. So I found some other opportunities to also be in the medical profession, but I uh, went into medical sales. And so then I worked, ended up a couple of small companies, ended up with a company called Hillrom, makes hospital beds and furniture. They had a specialty bed division where they, um, you know, the, the beds that they, the hospitals will rent for trauma patients, for those that are compromised, have bed sores, burns, and things like that. And so I loved that because I could still help. Um, but I was, um, you know, I wasn't on the time clock. I could help the nurses and doctors and helped in that medical environment, but it was different. I trained the nurses and doctors how to use these products and when to order them and which particular ones for which particular patients. And I liked that. I like. I started to get a glimpse of what it was like to have my own business. I had my own territory. Didn't have my own business, but I had my own territory. I was introduced to just that freedom and flexibility of kind of working my own hours. Um, and I liked that. I didn't know that that would serve me really well later on, but I did like that. Um, I liked the camaraderie with the other salespeople. Again, I loved still being able to help. And so really for the rest of my um, career, if you will, before I was married, I was in medical sales. I met my husband through a, a gal that I had hired to help me in my territory. I met, he's a friend of that gal and I met him and, and married him. And uh, uh, you know, the story, the story goes on. Um, but uh, you, you know, it's, it's fascinating to me because it, it seems to be, um, it's a particular type of nurse who is actually interested in, in business as well as helping people um, in healthcare. And it's not every nurse who, who has that, but that is, I'm actually interviewing more and more nurses who are outside the box, like I call them, right? Not everybody, but they tend to start having an affinity and a love for business and for sales as well as for nursing. Mm -hmm. and, and I think we need more of that. So I'd love you, for you to tell a little more about that is, is how did you then um, keep on going with that expertise and why is that kind of setting you apart right now and why is it so needed right mm -hmm. it. right yeah I um, and again when I was again I think that I know growing up I just kind of had this idea that 
you know, you'd go to college, you'd get married and have kids. And I wasn't sure. I mean, I knew I'd get a job in there. And I just, there wasn't a whole lot of, um, I don't know, talk about career for the rest of your life and building a business and things like that. My parents were not entrepreneurs. They had traditional jobs. But, you know, really what happened is um, as I, you know, was married and we started to have children and um, I did go back to work for just a little bit in that medical sales position. But my husband said, you know, why don't you see if we, you can stay home? We, we wanted to have other children. And, and um, actually one of my customers said, if you have the opportunity to be home, raise your kids. I think you should go home and they'll find another sales rep for us and, and all that. So that's what I chose to do and went on to have, um, I have four children, but that, you know, a few years into motherhood, if you will, our oldest son had, um, he just struggled to be a healthy kid, had allergies, he had runny nose, he was tired a lot, and he was starting into, you know, regular school, and he was tired. And, um, you know, I had, again, been introduced to the healing profession with nursing many years ago, but a friend of mine started to talk to me about some natural alternatives and perhaps some other natural type of um, practitioners that maybe could help my son. And from a nursing background, I was like, and you know, this was 20 some years ago. So it was a little like, I'm like, I don't think so. I mean, that's a little weird, right? And, <laughs> but, um, but, you know, like mixing up the potions, like, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'm a traditional, you know, kind of person. But I was also a mom who was concerned about the health of my child. And so I started to learn and I started to just try some things, you know, go to a chiropractor and a homeopath with my son and, and um, take the direction from them and my friend with some natural supplements and changing things in our environment that were, that we were cleaning our clothes with and cleaning our house with. And, um, paying attention to our diet and what we were eating. And, um, and I started to see the health of my son improve. And I believe I was really introduced at that point to the true healing profession of giving our body what it needs, you know, providing a natural, safe environment for ourselves and um, being just aware of what we put in ourselves, around ourselves, on ourselves. He started to get better. Um, his, he started to get more vibrant and happy about his life. And we all started to get healthier. And so I was introduced to this, like, wow, there is, it's kind of the other end of the spectrum. You know, we're over here, here with, okay, this happens, the care plan, you know, we do this, we do this, we do this. This was give our body what it needs, feed our body with what it needs and take the stressors out. And then your body and your cells feel good. And so you're healthy. And so I started to get turned on to that. And I was like, wow, this is, I just wanted to learn more. So I kept learning more, um, using different products, again, continuing to feel better as a mom, wasn't so tired anymore, wasn't taking naps with my kids. I just felt just like I felt I showed up differently. And as my friend told me, she said, well, you can help other people with this too, just like you did in nursing you know, help share. And I wanted to share with other people what I was learning and maybe it could help them. Maybe it could, I knew that I felt this way. Now I felt this way and perhaps it could help them. So I started sharing that, um, those possibilities yeah. at that point. I'm fascinated by it, right? Because as we're moving forward a little bit, you you build a massive team, right? You build mm -hmm. a massive business in, 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 in that with, with all your knowledge, with, indirect sales with that and i am i am personally i'm like i'm so ready to have nurses actually step up to that mm -hmm. such, an, such a stigma around that right so what do you do and i'm curious about it because you really have like let's start fast forward you started you've loved the remedies you've loved to help people and then you have gone on right let's uh, build, mm -hmm. build build building a big, big business right right you know because i in the beginning it was okay i'm going to help a few people but then I learned that, again, I started to see that glimpse of freedom and flexibility and building for the future and residual income and things, again, that I didn't know about, but I was being introduced to that. And I, and I was like, well, how about you join me? How about I show you how I've done it? I'm doing a little bit. I'm growing and growing. I'll show you how you can do it and you can build your own business. So as I was more comfortable 
with the idea of the business, which again was untraditional. Um, and I run into many nurses, they're like, well, no, I don't know if I believe that, or I don't know if I could do that. And I'm like, well, you can. I mean, again, but I, there was a lot of resistance even from me in the beginning because I didn't, you know, ask my friend, you know, she asked me so many times and said, you can help so many people. And that's what I, that's what I see now as I have, you know, 20 years later have built a very robust team of men and women that we're just on a mission. I, that's why I try to share with people. We're on a mission to help other people and to help other people learn how they can show up differently in their life and how, if their health has declined, how can you reclaim your health? We don't have to be, it's never too late to pay more attention to what we're doing and the choices that we're making. And it does, this net, you know, network marketing, direct selling is not for everybody. It is, it does provide an opportunity for everyone, but it's not for ever, you know, it's not for everybody because it is a little untraditional, but I, again, I tur got turned on to that freedom and flexibility and um, making a difference in somebody's life. But then this, during this time right now that we're talking, I could not be more thankful for what I've built. I mean, I have built, uh, an organization that again serves so many people with their health. I've seen a big uptick in my business, and I don't say that for any boastful reason, but there are so many people that need help with their health, and there are people that need help with finances. And I've been able to take, you know, contribute to our household income. My husband's business is a little bit shaky right now, as many people are, and I've been able to say it's fine. We have this plan B, plan whatever you want to call it. We have my business that continues to help other people and it, it tremendously helps our finances and our home that we need right now. And that's a, I think that's a beautiful thing that I just try to share that opportunity with others. You know, I so agree with you. And I, I so love this interview for that reason too. Um, how do you say to nurses that, how, why are you still a nurse? Why would you still? Because I get that too, right? I'm in the same position. It's like, why? And people's like, well, you still consider yourself a nurse, right? They have it hanging beside me, behind me. But I still consider myself a nurse. How do you still consider yourself a nurse in all of this? Why would you say that? Why are you, why are you still a nurse? Why do you still have an RN behind me? Yeah, right. I still, well, I think, you know, because I have, you know, I've, I've put this, I think I still deserve to call myself a nurse. I went to school, I graduated, I, I passed the nursing boards. I mean, I'm a nurse. Mm -hmm. So no, I haven't kept up with the CEUs and, and the fees and things like that. I did for, for many, many years, but I still have that wealth of knowledge. And I feel, again, I'm still helping people. And again, we, I am so thankful and grateful for the nurses and the doctors that are in the front lines right now. And those are definitely needed. But I try to tell nurses that, can you can, you can, when you start your own business or where you have your own business or your side business, you get to choose. When you go and punch a time clock or you're told that you have to work 16 hours shifts or 12 hour shift, or you need to go back on the weekend and that means you have to miss your son's soccer game or your daughter's swim meet, you don't get to choose. As I was introduced to this type of business, I get to choose. I can live in the world of and, I can, raise my children and I can be an example to my children to show them how I can have my own business. And a lot of times we live in that land of either or, you know, either you got to be in the hospital or you got to be at home. Well, I tell nurses, you can still use all of those skills and that passion and that love for helping others and build it for yourself. Yeah. You know, backed by a company, as long as you find a co company that backs you with quality products and quality all of that stuff, you know, you can, you get to choose then. And I believe that choice and that freedom is something that many people desire. Um, and again, back to when the beginning, when I talked about politics, I still hate politics. Not, you know, well, I still don't like the politics, but I don't like all that politics in, in the hospital and jobs and all that. Oh, I just don't like that. And so again, I get to choose who I work with, who I, cho what I choose to do and things like that. And so I've been able to kind of stay away from that part that I don't particularly care for. Yeah. You know, I so agree. And I think we still have the good part too, right? We do still help people and we still talk to people, right? We still make a difference. I always say, I think I've made more difference in, in the couple of years I've been doing this than there's 10 years at Hopkins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but I really do feel that way too. So I, I love, I love what you're doing.
when, let's wrap it up and let's see, let's look in the future. What do you see in the future for nurses who, who choose to actually work like you a little bit outside of the box in, in your way, right? In, in sales, in direct sales and multi-level marketing. What do you see for nurses? What do you see the op is the opportunity for nurses moving on, moving forward? Yeah, I think that there, I think there's a great opportunity again for them to step into, um, you know, thinking about how big their impact can be. Again, you can go to work in an emergency room or the surgical floor and things like that and have an impact with those particular patients. When you have your own business, when you're in direct marketing, your impact can be so much larger. And I encourage people in my dreams and my affirmations are about having a team of nurses and healthcare professionals that, again, continue to help other people live better lives, healthier lives, you know, better financial stability. Um, but again, they, there is this opportunity and I really encourage nurses to look at it because again, it's not, again, when I was first introduced to it 20 some years ago, direct selling was kind of what, at least I heard a lot of, what bored housewives do, you know? And it's not like that. I mean, there are plenty of people. And again, the, what, I, what is so really cool is that you can make a little bit of money and you can do a little bit and you can do a lot there is a big spectrum. It's not like in, like, I love what you're doing. It's outside the box. It's not within, when you're in um, direct marketing, it's not inside of a box. It's, I encourage people to look at what God has given you, your talents, your gifts, your passions, and nurses, doctors, massage therapists, healthcare professionals, they can do that. And again, you can have a much greater impact. And you know, I have to say that when you, when I watch people's lives change with um, not only, again, making changes in their diet or ha taking natural products, but also when their lives change, when they step into having their own business and being a leader, and I see their, their lives change, like they're more confident and they're more secure and they're like, they kind of like, wow, did I do that? And I'm like, yeah, you did do that. You did that. And when I watch that, I mean, I've seen a, a, a gal step away from her teaching career and been able to stay home, raise two kids, and now she's making three times what she made as a teacher and still teaching in this area. And I've seen nurses, again, step away from nursing. And I have a gal that's building right now. She's still in nursing, but she's still here. But she's a teacher in nursing. She does education. And so she sees the same thing with how she can teach people to live healthier lives. So I think the opportunity is certainly great. And this time that we've been forced to stay at home, I'm hoping that people are seeing that they can, they can work from home. They can, again, have their own business and have that choice and really have an influence and impact on you know, others um, and not necessarily in the traditional way that we've been kind of trained to. I love it. And still make a huge difference. And you use our brains because I think that's another yeah. thing. So people are like, oh, we, you don't use your brains. You, oh my goodness. You use your brains all the time. Oh so yeah. I, how did people get in touch with you? People like are curious. It's like, okay, I want to get in touch with after this interview. How did they get in touch with you? Sure. Sure. There's a few places. I mean, you can certainly, um, I know we connected on LinkedIn, so you can certainly find me on LinkedIn, um, you know, with my profile of Moira Gorski. I do have a website, Gorski Wellness. Uh, dot com. So that's probably the best place. Um, I have recently started a podcast that's called Juggling the Chaos of Recovery. You can find that on iTunes and uh, Podbean and Spotify. Um, and I think those are really the best, you know, the best spots. I'm on Instagram, Green Gorski. I'm on Facebook, um, but uh, probably LinkedIn and then my website are the best place. And again, I'd love to, you know, I, I, I'd love to have a conversation. That's what I, that's kind of why I started a podcast too. Um, I love to talk. I love to have conversations. I love to talk about that possibility mindset. Let's, let's talk about the possibilities. Let's start to dream. I think that many, um, I don't think that, at least I was raised, I wasn't necessarily raised to dream, like dream really big about like what's possible. We just kind of, again, we stayed in our box. We stayed what we were doing. And um, I'm so thankful that I've been introduced to a, a place that I can dream. And I really like to invite others to, to come along and let's talk about what we can do. And I'm willing to train um, and teach and show you everything I've learned because, um, because again, I want others to to uh, um, thrive as well. Beautiful. I love it.
Thank you so much, Mara. For these you are welcome. It was great to be here. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And yes, to all the nurses out there, it's Nurses Week, right? We're also in, in, the, in the nurse of the, the year of the nurse and the midwife. So um, let's dream. And however you're going to do that, but let's not give up on dreams. I think that's, that's right. Yeah. All right. You're welcome. Take care.